Howdly doodly do, citizens of the nerdy world. I am David Moody, and do not press that pause button because welcome to a fashion related review of Return to Runaway. The general information is Return to Runaway is a sequel to Red Eagle Games' 2020 game Return One Way Trip and released on the 20th of January 2022 and is available on PC and Nintendo. The game is a 2D psychological horror adventure game that follows on from the events of the first game. Saki and her fiancé Sen are trapped on an abandoned train that is haunted by an evil spirit that takes the form of a little girl. The voice acting is very well done throughout, with Saki once again being a standout. Playing as Saki, you are tasked to solve puzzles to help the story progress. I didn't find any of the puzzles off-putting and found them very well balanced. It's clear that the developer took the feedback from the first game, which I would like to add was one of my favourite games of 2020, and made some better than life changes to make the game flow better. One is Saki herself, she is more nimble and moves better in the game, with a dodge mechanic to help avoid the ever-chasing monsters. One of the standouts for Return 2 is the same for the first game, its visuals. The art style and direction is beautiful, combining pixel art gameplay with the anime style storytelling. The emotions for each character are spot on, as well as the creature's designs. What makes this game work so well is its sound design. It really sucks you in with the atmospheric score and sound effects that send chills down your back. One scene worked so well that it's an early standout for me for scene of the year. What sadly doesn't work is that newcomers will get confused about what is happening. And to them I'd say you have to play the first game to get the full story. Another thing was the lack of relevance towards Saki's friends that were in the first game that are overall an afterthought in the grand scheme of things. I think Red Eagle Games have created a very good sequel that takes what worked from the first game and makes its sequel better for it. It's better than life improvements along with its beautiful visuals and standout sound design gives you a psychological horror game that doesn't outstay its welcome and is a fitting end to Saki's story. Well, that is it for my review. Let us know what you think of the game down below. Did you like it? Are you in the middle or was it just not for you? Leave a comment as it's time for me to get the hell out of here and go and play more video games for me or Amy to eventually review them late because we are fashionably late reviews and I am out of here. Thank you very much for your time and have a great day.